Pirates in the Heart of Gold A long time ago, some dastardly pirates found themselves shipwrecked and so set a new course to the golden city of Fairbanks, Alaska, in search of mighty treasure. Stop, 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 stop right there. Let me explain. So you may know me as Miss Ally, the nice librarian lady, but... I used to be a pirate and a kind of dastardly one at that. I used to love gold. That's all I used to think about. Not so much now. But I've sailed the seven seas. That's why I've got that funny accent. But one time I was so badly shipwrecked that I got bumped on the head by that mast with the crow's nest on top. You know the one I mean? And we made it down to the mighty Yukon and up through the Tanana and into the Chena River and that's how I found Fairbanks. That's how I ended up here and I'm going to tell you the story about that. It was just me and the cook, which was sometimes good and sometimes not so good. So sit back and enjoy the show. You'll see all the things that happened to us on our adventures. Huck, what be the name of the town we're heading to? Uh, Fairbanks, Captain. Fairbanks? I, I hear there's a lot of gold being Fairbanks. Too bad we lost our big ship. I will only be able to carry a little bit of treasure here. Ah, uh, Cook, I need something to pass the time. Do you know we already a boat song? Aye, how about row, row, row your boat? All right, all right, I know that one. I know that one. I'll sing it with you. Okay, you start it up. That cook did know some good songs and, and a few stories too, so I did like to keep him around. I bet you know you this one. You should join in too. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily life is but a, a dream. dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <laughs> Okay, I got one, I got one, I got one. Row, row, row your boat row, gently row, to row. the lake. If you see a little snake, don't forget to shake. Ah. <laughs> okay, your turn. Uh, row, row, row your boat gently in the sea. Along came a shark with me to ride along with me. What happens with a shark? Hopefully it doesn't like, eat me leg. Eat your leg? Yes. Eat your peg leg. That's a mighty fine thing for a pirate to be. All right, I got one. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently to and fro. This way, that way, over the sea we go. That's a little splashy, that one. I don't know if I like that one. What you got? Row, row, row your boat gently down the sea. <laughs> if you see a pirate ship, sail the other way. Oh, hey, that'd be good. If you see a pirate ship, you definitely should go the other way. Well, did you know we might have a magic flute? No. It's a magic flute. So if I play my magic flute, you have to dance. You won't be able to stop and resist. All you'll be able to do is dance. And you'll dance right into the water! Is that a challenge, eh? Aye, aye. Let's see how this goes now. I see, I'll get comfy for this. the cook we did have a lot of fun i had a few songs of my own too if you don't know this one you can learn it right now and sing it with me next time i see you all right i got another song for us parrot's gonna join in this every time i say c c c we're gonna go like this 
And you start off going that way. And then we'll go the other way. So it's like we're dancing. Aye. Okay. A sailor went to sea, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, sea, sea. Ah! Parrot really liked that one. Oh, I hate this rain. When no wind in lands, I need a story. Let's tell a story to pass the time. Hi. I know where to cook. Let's do the story of Pirate Pete's Giant Adventure. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, I will be Pirate Pete because I'm the captain. And just like me, he's got no shit. And it starts up with his mouth. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story within a story. This is Pirate Pete's Giant Adventure. So I'm telling a story whilst I'm in the boat. It was my favorite pirate story. It's the part that made me want to be a pirate in the first place. So sit back and enjoy the story within the story within the story. Oh, it's the sail! There was a storm. There was a bit of a rainstorm whilst I was telling that story. But it was kind of funny to see old Cook be a sea fairy. Can you imagine him like that? So did you catch that like bit? The sea the fairy tells now. Pirate Pete that if he goes to Thunder Island, he can get a magic ship. Land ahoy! Is that beast I'm rumbling I hear? Well, we weren't very good at sound effects, but I'll sing the song again for you. Oh, I'll find the sea fairy sapphire and get me a ship of wonder. All I've got to do is follow the sound of thunder. Maybe you could do some sound effects here. Can you make a good thunder sound? Now in the story of Pirate Pete, they go on land, but of course, I was stuck in the water, not being able to go anywhere. Which is a shame that we're not already on land. Aye, aye. But we gotta go up the hill and there. When you're stuck in a boat for days and days, you do get a good imagination. I see it, Captain. She's a magical sapphire. Oh, I see it glowing bluer and bluer. Yeah, let me go get that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So a sapphire is a precious like oh, blue yeah. jewel. Oh. It's a blue sapphire. Mighty fine one, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> and now, I think all I gotta do is wish and stare at the sapphire. And I'm gonna ask you to give me a treasure map. So Pirate Pete makes three wishes. <laughs> the first one Yay. is for a treasure I'm map. Happy. Treasure map in my pocket, you see that? Who the oh, okay. okay, let's do it again, let's do it again. Let's get that sapphire. Now I'm gonna wish for the mightiest sword. Ready? You gotta stare at it. That's the second wish. Oh look, I got me a mighty, mighty sword right here. Mighty fine sword. 
think we should go back? They should go back. The fairy told them that thunder doesn't come from the sky here. Okay, go, go, go. Now, I want... Oh, they should leave. I think a giant's coming. Boom. 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 Oh, I'm in the giant. The giant's got me. I thought I smelled a stinky pirate. <laughs> You can use it to pick your stinky teeth, but please don't throw me into the sea. What? A pirate who doesn't like the sea? Well, yeah, it's true. You can use my peg leg and turn it into a toothpick if you like. Just don't throw me into the sea. Well, what? Instead of your peg leg, I just squeeze you and eat you. Oh, you can eat me! You can turn me into pirates too! Just don't throw me into the sea! What do you think, children? Should I do it? Let, yeah, let's do it! Ah! And we need a big splash! And out comes a beautiful big ship as the sapphire falls into the sea! And Pirate Peach sails away and waves goodbye to the giant. Um, if only it were true and not just a story. Is Land Ahoy yet? Aye! Land Ho! Oh god! I need a break! So after the Pirate Pete story, we made it to land but oh we were soaked through. It wasn't the end of the problems. <laughs> I'm as wet as the ocean itself! I'm a little stuck too. <laughs> That's fair! No, no, no! No, I am the captain. You can help me. That's <laughs> all right. Ooh! Ooh! My B.I.B. is wet as can be! <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> Arr! Oh! Touch of the scurvy, eh? Oh! I feel okay. I had a bit of trouble getting my sea legs back. Before we go on land. So we got on land and we had to look right away to see if there was anyone that we would have to start fighting. But it looked safe enough so we got out our treasure map. Can you tell directions if you don't pay attention? My map here. Which way is southwest? Well. You know the way, do you not? Are you a pirate? Let's show them the map. Well, I think. I think there we are with the crocodiles right here. We gotta go that way. And then north. No, we need to go northwest. Which way is northwest? Do you know which way is northwest oh, from where you are? That scurvy scallywaggy don't know the way. It's right there. North is right that way. Where's northwest? <laughs> that way. That way. No, no, he's all wrong. We gotta do you some, some learning how to be a real pirate here before we get off on our treasure hunt. Okay. So, that way be north. North! I'm going to show you this. I'll show you once. And that way be south. South! That way be east. East! And that way be west. West! Okay. I need you to do six paces north. So I ended up teaching Cook how to do it on land. But you have a piece of paper in your summer reading program back that teaches you that's, how that's to do okay. it. Oh, oh. See if you can do a better job than Cook. Right Six. Okay, how about three paces east? What do you think? And Is he right? Two paces to the south. Well, he went the right direction, I think, but he only went two paces, not three. Two you gotta get north, it right. Don't change directions, just walk your legs. Oh, he's getting good. Hey, okay, right. I want you to run five paces west. Help me out, kids. Which way is west? That way? Excellent. Oh, that's the sassy. Oh. I want to go the other way. West. Okay, I got a tricky one for you. A tricky one for you. I want you to go three paces north, east. That's a little bit north and a little bit of east. It's kind of a diagonal. you got to figure it out. Hey, Cook got it right. Ooh, okay, so you went three paces northeast. Now come back three paces southwest. So that's a tricky one. He went northeast. Now he has to go southwest, that's and that's right back, back the way he came. From. He Ooh, got it. You're not just a cook now, are you? Now you're a real pirate. Aye. 
Okay, now you need to go four paces southeast. That's north. That's south. There you go. Not bad. Well, I think we could go over off to find this trail. I think we start with 2,222 steps southwest. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So it took a lot of steps, over 2,222 steps, and eventually we got to the spot on the map we were aiming for. I think there's the X is right round here somewhere. Do we dig here? I don't see an X on the ground. Well, and again we ran into trouble. See. These three Fairbanks people love gold, I can see by that. They must be pirates, but you're right. There's no X right there. Oh, oh hi there! So there was a gold heart there. We thought for sure that was going to be the spot where we would find the treasure. Do you know where that place is? Hey there! Hoy! Where does a good pirate find the Fairbanks gold, would you think? Well, the people of Fairbanks have a heart of gold. They're good, kind people with a heart of gold. You mean, they're not pirates? They're just, like, kind people? Yes. When, and that... That art there doesn't mean they love gold, it just means that they're nice? Yes. Well, that's no place for a pirate now, is it? No. Well, we need to go find us some other gold. Let's think. We have to go back to the ship. I have another map. Now, this map is really old. It says that there's some gold in Gnome. So that means we'll have to go back to our ship. And we have to figure out how to do that. Now, we went 2,222 steps northwest. How do we get back to our ship? We go the opposite. Well, which would that be? Northwest. Northwest. You need not north and you don't need west. East and south. Southeast. Southeast. Ah, you scurry scurrywag. I'll make a pirate out of you. you Arr. Let's go. Arr. Grab the map. Okay. So we thought we had a plan, but it got interrupted. Ring, ring. ring. Hello? Hello? Or it was that new contraption you got there? I don't know, but I got a phone call. It's from the library. Here we go. Let's go pick up my treasure book before we head to Gnome. Oh, you see, this is the spot that you're looking for. This is where you see that's some treasure right here. Aye, aye, it looks like it. Well, we best be checking this out then. Hi, it's my treasure. It's Captain Finn and the pirate dinosaurs. My copy went down with the big ship. It's truly a treasure and I wanted to read it one more time. And if you want to listen to that story, you'll have to put the book on hold. So we've been walking and walking and there was one bit I remember where I got so excited I thought for sure we found some other gold. Because it was Fairbanks. It was supposed to be full of gold. Well, look at that. That looks like a pot of gold if I ever did see one. I betcha the Fairbanks people keep all that gold in here. Let's go check that out. Aye, right, right, Captain. Oh. Oh, this doesn't look good. Looks like it's full of Full of planes! That's no good for a pirate! I need a boat, not a plane! Well, there's a boat, Captain! Ooh! What? It's a, it's a big boat! But I don't see any water! Well... Well, that's no good then either, is it? Uh-uh. Well, I guess we'll just have to keep going. Come on, then! Where is the gold? So then it was time to go back to the ship. I had a feeling I might come back to Fairbanks because I did like it, but I was still on a quest to go to Nome and find some gold. And they had a lovely day being rich. Oh, that's what I want to be. I want to have all the gold I can carry in my boat. Aye, aye. You know, Captain, perhaps we should give up the life of a pirate for the hunt of a good story. Oh, I do love a good story. Aye, aye, Captain. Hmm. But old Zarty, old poop deck there, matey, I think I see no! The end. So there you go, 
that's the story of how I changed from being a dastardly pirate to a nice librarian lady. And the cook? Well, we don't really know what happened to the cook. He went off on his own adventure. That would make another story.